Hey guys, Bia here. Welcome to the second video of this week. Uh, I decided to treat you guys a little bit and upload the process of the demo art for this collection, which is the Bookshop E collection by Ferris Wheel Press. So before I talk about anything else, this video is not sponsored by Ferris Wheel Press. They did not pay me to do this video. I am part of their sponsored artist program, which means I get to experiment and try their inks and share them with you. And that I also have a code of 5% off if you want to use, which is BA Bishku Art that you can use on their website and you can help me in my creative journey while also getting discount, which is great. <laughs> so if you saw my video this week, I decided to split them as I usually do, but this art is, is quite a small one. I actually did another drawing before this, but it just came out very poison ivy, but on a discount. It was not great and it was just I just did not place the colors in the right places if you know what I mean so this collection consists of a coral a deep blue and then a mossy green and while I was mixing the colors I came up with a very nice skin tone at least I thought I think so it's a very rich brown and so I decided to use that for the skin and I kind of really mixed the colors to create just a more cohesive color style. The very plus side of that is that this whole drawing is sparkly, like just not one place is sparkly. Pretty much the whole drawing is sparkly. You'll see that in the end. <laughs> and so I decided to just go for a very simple design. I've been having a lot of difficulty coming up with designs that I enjoy lately. It just feels like it's not enough. This has been going for a while, if you've seen any of my videos. And so I just went very simple. I think she came out a bit more cartoonish than what I usually do, but I quite enjoy that. I quite enjoy her simple features and floating heads. It's one of those things that really, re I really enjoy. It just really calms me and it's just so fun to create different designs. If you also saw my last video, you know that I am be I'm going to be closing down my shop for a little bit. The plan was to change platforms. That plan is kind of on the wind right now, but I do want to get rid of most of my stock and just items and merch. I I don't feel I don't I feel like I could do more, if you know what I mean. Everything is 30% off until Today, I believe today is the last day, today is the 30th. And you can use the code bye bye to get 30% off of my shop. Today is the last day to get it because my shop will be closing down today at midnight. And then somewhere in October, I'll be back. I just have to work on some new things. I have some exciting things coming up. And hopefully you are as excited as I am because I just feel like, yeah, I can do better and I want to do better for you guys. I'm excited, scared, very scared, but excited. I also really wanted to make like a website, a portfolio slash blog, because I thought it could be very interesting to just have the written format of some of the videos that I have, whether it be in reviews or slash tutorials with lots of air quotations. I haven't really done tutorials here on YouTube. I do my tutorials on Skillshare, like at least dedicated tutorials. And YouTube is just more of an experience of what I've been doing. I thought it would be very interesting to have sort of a place, a blog, where I could talk about that stuff. I was thinking of Wix, but if you have any other recommendations of platforms that you use to create your website, please let me know. I still don't know. I was going to get Wix and just have my shop there and everything else. But in the end, it was quite expensive. Still, I, I'm not there yet, I think. I'm not there yet where I can explain that amount of a cost on the platform. So I think I'm going to stay in Big Cartel, even though it's not perfect. It's been pretty good. Uh, the only thing I really wish it was able to was to have a separate like password protected tab where I could get stuff for my Patreons, but that's something that for now it's not possible. It's something that I really wish I could do and that would make me just have Big Cartel being pretty much perfect or at least good enough. It's definitely not perfect, but it's good enough and it's accessible enough that I'm I'm okay with staying there rather than spending really a, a huge amount of money to have a platform, maybe in the future. But yeah, about the inks, which is this video about, 
This collection is really nice, but at the same time, a difficult one for me. It was kind of tricky, this color combination, to be completely honest. I did a bunch of sketches, I was having a lot of difficulty where to place things. Until I mixed the skin tone, I was having just such difficulty finding where I should put which color. And even then, I was, I was just struggling a lot. These colors, like, alone are really nice. I really like individual color. The whole set is a bit difficult for me to work with, but of course, they you're not obligated to work with each set. Like, you can buy individual inks. Um, this is just the set that I have, the collection that they released, and of course, I like to use only the colors for the collection for the drawing that I make, so it's only difficult really for me. <laughs> but in the end, I really enjoy how the drawing looks, and I'll definitely try and use it more. We are also approaching October, which means Inktober is coming. I am not going to participate in Inktober. I've already done fully like two years or three, so I don't really have that thing like it's a challenge. To me, it's just at this moment, it's just a headache to try and do. Plus, Instagram really does not like it when I post every single day. So that's not going to be a thing for me. I will definitely do ink drawings during the month and I'll post them. And I might do just a video talking about ink during this month of October. But it's definitely not something that's on my mind. Plus, October is going to be kind of a crazy month in terms of projects that I have going on. I really cannot even think of doing Inktober. I'm also this weekend going to go to my first fair, art fair in a really, really long time. If you're Portuguese, I'm going to be at Anjus Stenta on the second and the third whole day and I'm going to be there with some friends. So if you're Portuguese and you're around Lisbon during the weekend, you can come and see me. I'm going to have the stock that I have left from the sales there. And after that, it's not pretty much going to be available anywhere else. Um, what's left over is going to be probably just freebies, but yeah, it's, it's going to be randomly gifted. So I'm excited and nervous, but I think it's going to be fun. And so after all this ramble, the video is pretty much done. It's a very short one, pretty much just like an extra video I decided to do this week. I hope you enjoy having two videos this week and I have something really fun planned out next week, so be on the lookout for that. As always, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really appreciate your support. All links are down below. My shop will still be open today, the day you see this, on the 30th. And then you can always check out all my other links, Instagram, Skillshare, Patreon. With that, thank you so much again and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!